Hello. Can you hear me? Okay, yes. <laughs> that scared me. Hello, Nita. Welcome. I'm a spy founder, but have a great stream. Ah, thank you. You too. Oh, what did I do? Oh, that's right. Uh, where's the audio? Okay. <laughs> I think. Hello, hello, now welcome, welcome. How are you doing? I hope all is well. So, um, I hope your day has been magical. <laughs> it's been pretty horrible for me. <laughs> I'm good. I'm glad you're doing good. How are you? Um, next question, please. <laughs> no, I'm doing okay. I just. I'm just really tired and grumpy and annoyed. So easily annoyed. <laughs> I don't know, today is pretty weird for me. Nothing in particular, um, in particular happened, but you know, it's one of those days. But I'm glad that I'm streaming today. <laughs> I really needed to play this game because it's been a long time coming. Um, today's game is a horror game and these are the trigger warnings. So this game includes themes of gore, stalking, kidnapping, drugging, dismemberment, suicide, self-harm and of course murder. <laughs> so if anybody is really uncomfortable with these themes, you'd better skip this, this stream. <laughs> Because I think, well, it's a horror game, so you know. Hello, Mira, welcome, welcome. How are you? Um, I don't know, I hope the game makes you feel better. Thank you. I hope so too. I love horror games, so, um, and speci specifically, I love horror Otome games. So, like, you know, I love bad, bad boys and yanderes and stuff so i think this will be the game for me i really hope so <clears throat> horror game what are you playing one right now yes mire this is this one like <laughs> the one that you're seeing now on screen is a horror otome game and these are the triggers let me t send them again And there are a lot. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like a scary game, a, a scary game at all. And I've only played like two minutes. Oh wow, that's loud. Um, let's fix that. Okay, better. <laughs> okay. Um, I've only played like the first two minutes just to see if everything was working right and. In the beginning, it doesn't even seem like a, you know, a scary game, but the trigger warnings are pretty, <laughs> they're pretty serious. <laughs> okay, I'm closing the streaming. I'm so sorry. I, I, I totally understand. Don't worry. I get it. It's not, it's not for everybody. <laughs> oh, you, you were playing Songbird Symphony. I really want to try out that game. You made it look so interesting. Oh, I saw for Ona as well. Wait, let me do it. I don't wanna. I don't wanna disturb you, Nero. <laughs> but thank you, thank you. Uh. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. I always forget to shut up people. Always. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> six months into, or well, actually seven months into streaming, and I still don't remember to sh give a shout out to people. Honestly, Nito, you can shout out everybody. <laughs> I really don't mind. I actually, I'm happy. <laughs> it's just really more work for you, and it. I feel bad, but. 
I was going to add that she was liking Yandere's in, pub in public knowledge, but <laughs> you know, right? I think so too, Mira. <sighs> oh well. Hello, Mommy T. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Um, today's game is a horror otome game, so let me remind you that these are the trigger warnings for today's game, Momiji. So if you're uncomfortable with these, uh, you'd better skip this, <laughs> this stream. I should have set like a timer for which, um, for the trigger warnings, I don't know. But I did put the command like at the beginning of the stream. I hope that's enough. I don't remember if this game is voiced or not, but it's like a really short game. So the... Mm, I'm glad you're doing good, Mommy G. I'm doing, I'm doing okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm going, I'm doing okay. It's not my best day. Um, but the, the summary of the game is you can't sleep well due to your noisy neighbors. They're endless wisp whispers and muffled no- wait, let me share it though. Let's see if I can share this. Okay, there you go. <laughs> uh, and muffled sounds keep you up all night. You try confronting them only to find out that you're living next to a bunch of pretty boys. I mean, that's, that's okay. Until, you know, something else happens. Who may or may not be psychopaths. There you go. Lee and Tao's route only available as of now. 10-15 minutes to play game for Lee and 15-20 minutes of gameplay for Tao. An extremely rushed, very fast-paced horror otome game. And you know, the trigger warnings. So I mean, it should be pretty easy. Hopefully. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Why only okay? Um, I don't even know <laughs> myself why only okay. Nothing particularly bad happened today. It's just my mood. My mood. It's one of those days. It's also raining really bad, and I was eating dinner at my friend's house, and so I also got um, a shower of rain upon me. <laughs> Uh, maybe that's also why. I don't know. It does sound pretty fun, I guess. I mean, to me, it sounds super fun. <laughs> okay, let's see. And thank you for the pat pat. Uh, is this still loud? Let me know about. Uh, let me know if the audio is good and uh, tell me if it bothers you. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess start. I mean, look at them already <laughs> with the knife. Uh, they look very <laughs> okay. <sighs> the yander will make you feel better. Let's go. <laughs> oh no, I would rather be rained on than house hunting. No, mommy G, is it still going pretty bad? No. Did you did you change, you know, that the the person who was helping you looking for the for the houses? Bye, Mire. <laughs> thank you for <laughs> thank you for coming and say hello. I hope you have an amazing evening ahead of you. I can't wait for tomorrow. <laughs> Me and Mire and some other friends are going to play a fun game tomorrow. <laughs> um. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm, I'm a little scared. <laughs> like, probably continuing here, consenting to seeing graphic images and descriptions of violence. <laughs> What's her name? Oh, God. Do I self-insert in this? Uh, sure. I'll be brave. She, her. Oh my god, I'm a little scared. Uh, I did change realtors now. I have one that listens to what I need. But the interest rates just shut up, which sucks. Oh god. It's not the best time, right, to buy houses. I mean, I, I don't know anything about it, but... I guess it's not the best. Keep keep doing your thing and I'm, and I'm sure it'll come around. I think it's just really stressful. Uh, this is a really stressful phase, but once you will find what you're looking for. There you go, yeah. I just bought a house earlier this year and the interest rates keep going up. That is just, just that sucks. That's why and I I don't see myself myself ever buying a house. <laughs> How do you even do that? <laughs> I'm freaking 23. Soon 24. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it's almost the end of the year. Well, let's not think about that. <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't, don't want to think about that. Yeah. I, yeah. Mm. Oh, that sucks. Like, why do people have to be mean? Why? Oh no, my dog. He wants to be let in. Give me a sec. Okay. <clears throat> I'm soon 25. That's exciting. 25, wow. That's a really exciting age. And 27, I'm an, <laughs> an old lady. <laughs> but you're really not. <laughs> it's so weird that once we are the ones that uh, reach a certain age, we see our ourselves as old. <laughs> When in fact, we're super young. I mean, if someone else tells me that they are 23, I, I think that they're so young. But <laughs> if I see myself as a 20 years old, I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm still 18. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to be 34 next year. I got you all. <laughs> that is super young. There you go, there you go, yes, yes. That's the spirit. Okay, I'm I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm stalling actually, I'm not ready at all. Okay. My my dog is all is all set. <laughs> He's on the bed. Alright. My dog's name is Aki. A K I. And um it's really original because my my dog's breed is um Akita Inu. <laughs> the Japanese dog. Uh, <laughs> the Japanese <laughs> kind of dog. <laughs> um He's he's old white though. He's not like, you know, brown, orange, just all white. He's really cute. <laughs> not, not just because he's my dog. Whoa. Uh, okay, let's see if all is good here. 
let me close this oh no not not you <laughs> you need to go up here okay let's go <clears throat> I'm scared. You've been hearing muffled voices in your sleep lately. Silent screams and giggles from an, an unknown source keeps you on your toes. You, of course, assume the noise is from your neighbors considering all the voices are coming through your walls. But lately the voices have been becoming more and more strange. The sounds of doors slamming shut or blunt objects hitting something not that solid, or splattering sound leads your mind into thinking not pleasant things. <laughs> awesome! You don't know what your neighbors do at night. And a part of you doesn't really want to know. Crunch, crunch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I wonder what they're doing. Strange rustling sounds awake you from your dreamless slumber. Um, what time is it? Your eyes slowly open as your body forces itself awake. 3 a.m. Great. What the hell are they even doing? Hey, <laughs> come inside. Just like your picture. What the f- <laughs> Disgusting. You let, a, you let out a sight, knowing that now uh, that you were awake, it would be impossible for you to get back to sleep. Ever since you moved to your new apartment in Taohua, it's been harder for you to get a good night's rest. And all the creaking and whispers you hear from close, by, from close by neighbors make it almost impossible for your easily awoken self to get some sleep. He loves being so welcome! And I'm typing this in class. What did I miss? We just started! So, Bingzo is the creator of this game. <laughs> ah, it's so great to see you here. But we just started out. <laughs> so, I hope you're doing well and <laughs> you're not missing much in class. I'm really, I'm really nervous and excited to be playing this game. <laughs> the only good thing that's come out of your recent sleep deprivation is now you have more time to do work. Ooh. Okay, the music is pretty, it's, it's cute. <laughs> right now, it's, it's a right. I've got two graphs I need to fill out. Oh, and some reports I need to make for James. You pull out your computer, your computer and start typing away. It's funny, it's just math. Oh my god, <laughs> what do you mean just math? <laughs> I would be struggling real bad in math. But then again, I think I would, I would watch someone's streams as well <laughs> doing math. <laughs> the deadline for the reports is next month but I guess since I have time I should just do it all now so tiring oh my god <laughs> shh, shh. the background is really really cute your voice is too loud my neighbors will hear you you know Every time I hear his annoying voice, I crave violence. Gritting your teeth, you try to type a little louder to drown out all the noise your neighbor was making. The muffled giggles and voices kept warming through your head. Come on, let's go into my room. Yeah, yeah, just go inside. Yeah, this is my room. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about how dark it is. A door shut and the noise was gone. Finally some peace and quiet. Even though you never met your noises neighbors, your impression of them was less than stellar. You often thought about confronting them or calling in a noise complaint, but ultimately decided against it due to the crippling fear of confrontation. Your eyes blinked heavily as you continued to write up your report. Soon you started to see the light trickle through your window. 
barely any sleep. Now I have to get to work. Just lovely. Your tired body picked itself off your work desk as you started to get ready for the day. Hopefully I don't pass out. This lack of sleep is really getting to me. <laughs> you know, I really think my neighbor is murdering people. <laughs> um, I don't know, I have that feeling. <laughs> uh, okay, Kelly. Sammy, Sammy. Sammy, there you are. Ready to start a day? No, I'm really not. Oh, Sammy, such a pessimist. Oh, she's, she's pissed off. <laughs> Kelly leaves a floor down from your apartment, thankfully. She works at the same office as you, so she often wants to walk with, together with you. She's extremely loud and upbeat, which can get annoying at times, but she buys you coffee occasionally, which makes her okay in your book. You look tired, Sammy. Noisy neighbors again? Yeah, Mr. Popular brought over another person and they would not shut up. Dang, that's awful. Man, if I ever see their faces, I'll give them a real talking to. No one disturbs my friend. <laughs> okay. Kelly raises her fist, shaking it at the roof. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. We better get going soon. Don't want, don't want the boss man to get mad at us. Right, let's go. You and Kelly both head off to work. Kelly waved goodbye to you as she quickly sat at her desk. But just as you were about to do the same, a voice pulls, oh, pulls you over. <clears throat> huh, Sammy, I was wondering when you'd show up here. Okay, this is James. Hello, James. I thought you'd try to get to work earlier. Such a shame. But I guess punctuation has never been your strong suit. Okay. Okay, bye, James. <laughs> I wish this man was... <laughs> I wish this meant the, mo the most pain imaginable. But I'm on time. Have you never heard the saying, on time is always late? No, but it sounds extremely stupid. Watch your tone to your higher up. James is one of the higher ups in the company. He's stolen your spot. <gasps> wow. Of employee of the month too many times for you to count. Leaving a sort of rivalry. <laughs> He's cute though. He is. He is. I'll admit that. Since James is a higher hub, um, he's allowed to push his work into you, of course. With little backlash. Did you get my reports done? You mean your work? Yeah, I have it done. <laughs> God. Wait, let me fix this. Good. Send them to me and I shall see if you did a decent job. For your sake, it better be good. <laughs> you you rolled your eyes and sat down at your desk. Your fingers started to hurt with how much you typed. And your chest started to feel cold. A feeling all too familiar to you. Okay, Nino, have a great walk with your doggy. Knowing that your body was on the brink of passing out, you knew there was only one solution. Ugh, I need some coffee. You poured yourself a large cup, not bothering putting in any cream or sugar. You gulped down the crappy coffee that was provided in the break room. Gross. This will get me through the day, though. You slugged back uh, to your desk, desk to finish up the rest of your work. Hey, Sammy, ready to go? Finally, the day was over. Yeah, I'm ready. Not so fast. Oh my god, James. James walks over to you, to, um, over to you carrying your report printed out. What's this? Your reports that I did for you. Oh my gosh, these cars. <gasps> so annoying. Sorry. <laughs> really? Because what I see is total crap. Oh my god. James said it as he pushed his glasses back up on his face. Redo it. <gasps> what? I said, redo it. 
There's no way I could possibly use something this... this... terrible. But my shift ended and it's late. Well, I don't care. You can leave here until your work is done. Jigimus shoved the documents into my hands. I expect something better in the morning. Hey, you can't do that. Semi shift is over. Have you never heard of overtime? Ah, oh, this is too frustrating. It better be done tomorrow. <gasps> yeah, he's not cute at all. <laughs> Annoying. James walked out the door, leaving me with the reports once again. Man, what an asshole. Oh shoot, sorry Sammy, I guess I'll have to live without you. It's okay, Kelly. Deciding you opened up your computer once again. I I'll see you later, okay? Don't stay up too late. Your fingers ran over your keyboard as the hours ticked away. Almost done. Um, right. <laughs> what is that? You tired yet? Ah. Uh. It's so uncomfortable, I think. <laughs> I can't really read that. Wait. Your head turns. Who's there? Nothing but silence follows your question. God, I must really be crazy. I must really be going crazy. Uh, you sipped on some coffee as you quickly finished up the reports. That should do it. Stretching your back, you got your stuff and headed back to your apartment. So, it's a nightmare where we live, it's a nightmare at work. Great. <laughs> you arrive back at the complex at 12 a.m. Oh no, there you go. What? How many people are, like... What, what's going on? Such a mess. One of the neighbors were being noisy again. Muffled whispers filled your ears as your anger started to rise. His asshole! Have they seriously never heard of whispering? Something inside you started to snap. <gasps> oh no, let's save. <laughs> let's save first. Okay, decisions. Release your anger or go to sleep. What do we do? <laughs> what do we do? I think... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> mm. <laughs> Release your anger, okay. <laughs> Number one. Let's go. This is gonna get us killed. With all the strength you could summon, you kicked at the door that was causing the most noise. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, Hassel, it's 12 a.m. Shut the hell up. Everything went silent. <gasps> you could hear someone fiddling with the lock. Well, crap. Root time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm scared. <laughs> Let's go. It's not like you wanted to actually talk to them. You just kind of <laughs> wanted to vent your anger. A, ner a nervous rush was sent down your spine. <gasps> Hurry back to your apartment or face them. We face them, right? I mean, we could die, but... It's okay. <laughs> Let's go. Well, let, let me drink first. <laughs> Face them, let's go. <clears throat> you puff out your chest and stood to your ground. I had enough of this hassle's noise. It's time to end this. The door opened and you were met face to face with one of your neighbors. He he's cute and he also looks really crazy. <laughs> but I like the necklace. Um your jaw dropped ever so slightly. You didn't know what you were expecting your neighbor to look like, but certainly not like that. The man's eyes looked up at you and down with a chilling cold expression. Oh no. <laughs> His extremely soft features contrasted with the pissed off vibe he was giving you. Were you the one who kicked my door? You break out your, of your trance and try to start her out of breath. <laughs> I reply. Uh, well, I, um... You always... <laughs> the man scoffed. 
Jeez, take a breath. You went so far to disturb me. <laughs> Might as well tell me what the hell your problem is. His arch stone made you forget um, about how pretty he looked. This dick. <laughs> you cleared your throat and stood up straight. Whoa, look at you getting all, all serious. Scary. You grit your teeth as your face starts to flush with anger. I've been staying up all night for the past two months now because of you and the other two neighbors. Like seriously, could you tone down the freaking click <laughs> clickety clacking I hear from your room? Well, I'm not sure what uh, what to tell you. The walls are thin and I can't really stop making the sounds. And why is that? Because I work from home and sometimes my job gets a little... I guess I should say loud. Besides, why the hell aren't you getting onto the other guys? I mean, they make way more noise than me. Especially Tao. Weirdo is always bringing chicks here. He's got a point there, but you kind of just kick the door closest to your foot. <laughs> you know, just like that. Still, there was no way you were going to lose this argument with all the sleepless nights you've been through. Just because they make a lot of noise doesn't mean you don't make a, uh, a lot as well. Ugh. Look, I see that you're clearly sleep deprived and I'll admit I might have a teeny tiny little fault in that. So how about this? I'll talk to the guys and tell them to keep their activities silent after, let's say, 2am. You glared at him. Fine, fine, 11.30 or something. Would that make you less grumpy? Noise stopping at 11.30 still seem pretty late, but considering the amount of sleep you were getting now, you'll take what you can get. But there was some part that you just... that you wanted... of you? <laughs> that wanted to make this guy really pay for keeping you up at night. I actually want something more. This isn't, this isn't enough. You crossed your arms with a huff. After all the stuff I've been through, not a chance. The man let out an annoyed sound. <clears throat> so bossy. Fine, fine, what do you want? You didn't really know what you wanted from this guy. You kind of wanted to get under his skin. You frowned your brow trying to think up something he could get to you. The man let out a loud sigh. Okay, how about I get you lunch or something like that? You can order anything you like. Really dent my wallet if you want to. Free food? That was an enticing offer. You let out a hum side I am. I am. Okay, I shall accept. You better not go back to your woods because I'm going to order so much food. Fantastic. The name's Lee, by the way. I feel like I, if I'm going to be buying your lunch, you should know my name other than meal ticket noisy neighbor. Hey, <laughs> lunch date. Well, my name's Sammy. Cool. See you tomorrow, Sammy. Lee went back to into his apartment. You yawned, the whole complex was silent. Your whole body relax, relaxes into your bed as sweet nothingness fills your ears. I'm scared. <gasps> oh gosh, it's red. But even through the silence, there was a sort of business in the air. Extremely silent clicking of a lock. Breaths that are a little too close to your ear made you feel uneasy in your deep sleep. It was almost as if someone was watching you. <gasps> okay. <laughs> oh god! No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. That was weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, your eyes opened as the bright midday sun assaulted your <laughs> retinas. <laughs> God, he's already obsessed. <laughs> what? Oh my god, I feel like if I played um, a horror game like, um, 
you know, the one with the James Gunn and stuff, I'm gonna like blow up your your, your ears because I'm gonna be shouting all the time. Uh, what time is it? 11:45. I slept for that long. Man, I must have been. I must have really needed it. Good think it's Saturday, or I'd totally be fired. He sluggishly, he sluggishly got out of bed. Ooh. Oh, the lunch. That's right. He would be fun though, right? <laughs> oh. Hey, you in there? Right, the lunch. Come on, you can't waste my money in bed, you know. You quickly threw on some casual clothes. Hey, you look well rested. <laughs> hey, creepy dude. <laughs> Yep, my first night of real sleep. It was so... Some part of you wanted to say unsettling. Nice. Yeah, it was really nice. Good, I'm glad. I talked to the guys this morning, so no more disturbances after 11.30. Even though this one, this was one of the guys that was causing you so much sleep depravity, he found it sweet that he talked to your other neighbors for you. Do you think he just talked to them? <laughs> Thanks, that really means a lot. Does that mean you won't spend all my money on food? Nah, I'm still doing that. <gasps> oh, oh. Yeah, I knew he, he just... He, 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 he. Oh, well, maybe it wasn't him, but... Hmm, suspicious. A man walked out of uh, one of the rooms next to yours. His eyes immediately hooked into Lee. Morning, who? Rough night? Fuck off, snake face. <gasps> okay, nice. <laughs> who is that? An extremely polite person. <laughs> the man looked at your direction for a brief moment. Ugh. Rude? <laughs> yeah, but rude apparently, yes. The man scurried back into his room. Uh... <laughs> what happened to him? Or what did you do to him? <gasps> oh my god. Let me save. <laughs> I don't know, just in case. Um, I kind of want to suspect him. Like, what did you do to him? Um, I don't know. Yes, no, maybe so. Mm. Antagonize your murder neighbor. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> uh, uh, right? Well, let's do it. <laughs> Gosh, was it that obvious? Don't worry about it. We just had a little disagreement. I knew it was him. A little one? The little guy looks beaten to a pop. Oh, I mean, if it makes you feel better, he gave me a little bruise on my elbow. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, it's almost lunch. He admitted it, yep. Lee took your hand and rushed you out of the complex. Okay. Okay. You and Lee walked around downtown for a bit deciding on a place to eat at. You were craving something sweet and Lee suggested a small little bobbing shop near the train station it was uh it was hot and and the sweet frozenness of the dessert seemed rather refreshing ah cute the shop was filled with what you assume were college students on their day off kids these days shouldn't they be studying you found yourself reminiscing on the days where you would forget school and just go have fun with your friends the memory seemed so distant. It was hard to envision yourself once being so carefree. <sighs> the good old days, huh? <laughs> Speaking of, of uh, carefree, James sent you more work last night. Oh my god, James. Uh, I guess I'll do it tonight. Hey, are you going to hoard order? Your thoughts were pulled back into reality as Lee nudged your side. There was a lot on the menu, but the question remains, 
Did I still want to waste this guy's money? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure about this. Oh yeah, Jane. <laughs> That's what I thought too. Like, <laughs> let's set our <laughs> our new boyfriend stalker, <laughs> and you know, he can deal with James. But yeah, I'm gonna waste your money. Free food was free food. No way were you passing up the opportunity to get as much as possible without repercussion. I mean, we're not just going to forget all the sleepless nights that we spent. You turned to cashier as you started listing off all the things you want from the menu. He just stared at you with a smile as you kept listing things off. <laughs> it's that much, huh? <laughs> oh my god, no! I'm so sorry! The teacher caught you, that's... No! Just, just concentrate on class. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Lee ordered a mango one and paid. <clears throat> Tell them it's dedicational. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... <laughs> your, your teacher should watch the... The, the live as well you know you're going to have to eat all that oh I know, trust me Lee just laughed okay let's find a place to see you and Lee sat down at one of the tables away from the crowd of college students a lady brought l over Lee's food oh this is so cute <laughs> you love it <clears throat> Lee started to eat the frozen treat. His eyes looked uh, locked onto you almost as if he was examining you. That's not creepy. <laughs> much, much, much. Is there something on my face? Nah. Munch, munch. I just want to see your face when all the food comes out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The lady came again, trying to balance three plates of food. She ha uh, haphazardly yeah, okay, <laughs> set the food down on the table. It is kind of cute, right? Wow, that's really a lot of food. I might have miscalculated how much I can take. Well, you better eat because I paid like... <laughs> there you go. Um, 670 yen for it. You started to read the atrocious amount of food you get for you got for yourself. You look up at Lee's face. <laughs> Even with this mouth full of shaved mango eyes, his mouth still looks so pretty. How could I have not seen him before? Maybe I should find more about this mysterious man. Uh, what do you do for work? Do you have any hobbies? You're very pretty. Oh, do we, do we just attack and say that he's very pretty or, you know, just ask the user usual questions? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I kind of want to go with the third one. <clears throat> this is so cute though like uh, apart from the <laughs> from the scene from before <laughs> when it looked really creepy looking at us while we were asleep <laughs> go with your with your gut <laughs> going with my gut always leads to death <laughs> I Wow, where did that come from? Where did that come from? You didn't really mean to say that out loud. It just kind of happened. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I don't even know what I said that. Hey, it's okay. I love it when people feed my ego like that. So, on a scale from 1 to 10, how handsome am I? <laughs> Look at him! Oh my god! <laughs> but that could, be, that could be fun in this game, that's true. You gave him an annoyed look. I'm a 10, right? 
I can tell by your face you're, what you're thinking. That you're thinking, Holly, what a an handsome guy with an amazing personality. You're ridiculous, ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculously handsome. You both chuckled about Lee's behavior. For the record, I think you're rather good looking, in like an angry hamster <laughs> sort of way. <laughs> it's pretty cute. You didn't know whether to be offended or flattered. Thanks, I think. You both finish your frozen desserts. Let's head back. I had a lot of fun today with you. You're really cool to hang out with. I had fun too. We should do this again sometime. Okay. <laughs> Just don't come into my apartment and watch me while I sleep anymore. Ever since then, you and Lee started to hang out more. Well, kind of. Since he stopped doing whatever the hell he was doing at 2am, you started to see him around outside the complex. It was almost like a little routine for you guys. You'd come back to work and Lee would be doing something outside of his room. You guys would say hi or chat, then go out to eat or something. You weren't sure it was because you saw him so much or because he was nice to you. But for some reason you feel... Oh, loopy when you see him. <gasps> okay, she's falling in love, I think. And look at him. <laughs> nice, nice. His words failed to reach you as butterflies started to swarm into your stomach. Sammy. Oh, <laughs> your hearts are gone. <laughs> Sammy. Haha, <laughs> you there? You push down the fluttery feelings. I yeah, yeah, just... Sorry, just tired. You gotta stop working so much over time. All work and no downtime can scramble your brain. I know, but there's just been so much work recently. Man, it feels like the only time I feel relaxed is with you. Well, let me finish up here, then we can go relax together. Uh, need some help? What's in the boxes? I'm really, I'm a little scared. <laughs> but let's let's go with. Um, need some help? <gasps> no, 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 no. See, <laughs> when I go with my guts, <laughs> everything is. <laughs> I should have saved. Can I go back? Let's see. Nope. <laughs> Scary. You flinched. Uh, I mean, shit. Sorry, pumpkin. <laughs> pumpkin. There's just really important and fragile things in here. I'm really scared of what's in there. I didn't mean to yell at you. It's okay. Wait. Did you just call me pumpkin? Uh, sorry, that just slipped out. I've also been working more, so my brain is pretty fried. <laughs> Lee cleared his throat. Okay, I'll just put this down, with, then we can go. Mm, he's starting to show off his real nature. Even though your little crush on Lee seemed to be working out, your sleep hasn't been. Even though your neighbors stopped all the noise after 1.30, you still felt uneasy. It wasn't that you couldn't get to sleep. You actually can't seem to stay awake no matter how much coffee you tried to pump into your bloodstream. Hello, my first welcome, welcome! Today we are playing in a horror otome game, so let me send, let me do the warning thing. So that if you feel uncomfortable with any of those, um, don't worry and feel free. <laughs> feel free to go if this is not, you know, if you're not comfortable with you know, gore, stalking, kidnapping, drugging, etc, etc, etc. I mean, it's a pretty fun game. Nothing of, nothing too bad has happened until now. And we've been playing for like 20 minutes, maybe. Even more. Hello, new classic games. Welcome, welcome. No. <laughs> good. Played Amnesia, so all good. I'm glad. I'm really glad. Ooh. Um... 
I think you told me, but uh, which route are you on? Um, well, in this game right here, Pretty Boy Panic, uh, we're playing... Um, I mean, we we live in an apartment complex and our neighbors used to be very, very um, noisy and we couldn't sleep at all uh, during the night and we would be uh, overworked, like so, <laughs> we would have so much work during the day. So we were always exhausted and we ended up confronting our neighbor, but now after, you know, talking to him, uh, talking to Lee, we found out that he's actually pretty cool so we just started to hang out with him i think we are falling in love with him but still even though the noises you know as you see here are um way less than before and it's kind of stop at 11 30 um there's still something that just keeps us up for some reason i wonder <laughs> yes exactly uh, Sorry, which route am I on? Or on Amnesia or Pio Fiore? Both. <laughs> well, on Pio Fiore, I know that you started uh, 1926. So, But on, on Amnesia, I don't think uh, I remember which one you were on. Uh, it wasn't that you couldn't get to sleep. You actually can't seem to stay awake. No matter how much coffee you try to pump into your bloodstream. You started to become almost worryingly scared of sleeping in your own room. You would swear up and down that someone was breathing on your... Oh gosh, on you. <laughs> or touching your face while you slept. There you go. And last week, while you were sleeping on... <laughs> sleeping one of your ar back molars... No, 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 no. Okay, okay. There you go. We s it's starting. It's starting. <laughs> and last week, while you were sleeping, one of your back molar suddenly disappeared no <laughs> oh no this is so scary <laughs> god i don't like lee anymore like i thought this was gonna be like <laughs> not like this <laughs> you talked to the dentist and they said the most logical conclusion would be it fell out and you swallowed it in your sleep yeah no i don't fall for that but for some reason that didn't sit right with you Please, just stay up a little longer. Your body felt weak as you tried with all your strength to stay awake. Why can't I ever get peaceful rest? You try to sit up straight, but your mind goes blank as your body collapses into a dreamless sleep. <gasps> I'm scared. Okay. You awake with a shudder. You could have sworn you felt someone's breath on you last night. Don't think about it, Sammy. I shouldn't have self-insert. <laughs> God. Sammy. Sammy. You slept in again. We need to get going. You shook the thoughts out of your head and got ready for work. Hey, you ready to go? I yeah. Hey, something wrong? You look really worn out. I yeah, I'm fine. Just the amount of overtime is really getting to me is, is all. Oh, I can't believe James is making you work such long hours. It's okay. I don't really mind too much. Let's just get going. You wanted to get out of this complex as soon as possible. <laughs> Let's just move. Let's just move. Okay, I'm going to my desk. Oh, I'm on. I'm on the later of on amnesia. And I'm, I'm, I'm on Sheen and Pio Fiore on Nicola. <laughs> Noise, noise. Ah, I really want to play later. I will get to it eventually. <laughs> Sorry, multitasking with streaming game. Oh my gosh, what are you playing right now? Oh wait, let me give you a shout out. I always forget. Just chatting, great. <laughs> playing with friends um, on Fortnite. Have fun! Have fun, have fun. Okay, okay, okay. 
<laughs> I'm fine, my boyfriend just stole my tooth when I slept. Yeah, it's all good, all good. Look, Sammy, if James starts to bother you with working overtime again, please, please, please say no. I'll be back, I have to go pick up my nephew. Oh, okay, Mommy G. Be safe. I'm gonna I'm gonna say um be safe to everybody <laughs> from now on. I don't know why. Um Okay. I know it might seem like he has a ton of power here, but he really doesn't. Thanks Kelly, but I'll be fine. Okay. You continue to tap away at your computer, slowly working through each document, graph and report. You back in figures started to your you your back in figures started to ache after you were done. Finally I'm done. You close you close your computer with a satisfied click. Now James can bother me. What can't I do? Oh god. You jumped as James suddenly showed up behind you. Oh god, don't scare me like that. James rolled his eyes. Do you have plans this evening? I didn't see the reply. <laughs> Wait. No. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> well, I... Never mind, I don't really care. <laughs> of course. What did I expect? James handed you a stack of documents. He must be joking, like he needs, he needs to be stopped. I need these to done by tonight. Yeah, do them yourself. But I finished all my work. Oh my, wow, good job for doing what you're supposed to do. Would you like a gold star? <sighs> Our life sucks, you guys. This is the adult word, Sammy. Sometimes you have to do extra work. Sometime? I'm always working overtime. And extra work. James placed more documents on your desk. You shall, go you shall do. Wow, I hate him. You wanted to lash out at James, but you were too tired to fight right now. Hey, you've been giving Sammy so much work this past week. Give it a rest already. I don't think this has anything to do with you, Kelly. Shouldn't you be going home by now anyway? Yes, I should be going home right now with Sammy, but you keep giving her extra work. Everyone has to do extra work. It's part of life. If she can't handle it, then she should just quit. This is a work this is workplace harassment, James. If you keep this up, I'm going to report you to the to HR. Let's go, Kelly. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. James pointed to the documents on her on your desk. Do them. That's it. I am sending a note to HR. Kelly opened up her phone and started typing what seemed to be a worldly email to HR that dick I'll make sure he gets fired um god this is so I mean do we want to do we want her to do that though or should we send the note I mean we can send the note I don't know <laughs> god Choices, choices, choices. Punch him. I, I wish I could. <laughs> I wish I could punch James. James, I mean. <laughs> Maybe we do it? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll send a note to HR. I should have done this a long time ago. Awesome. You type a rather lengthy note to HR and close your computer. Let's get out of here. I'm not doing his work anymore. You leave the documents on the counter and head off to the apartment together. <gasps> the guy who stole our tooth is here. <laughs> I'm freaked out. Sammy, you're back from work. Over time again? Nope. Kelly took your arm and high-fived your, your hand. No more overtime after HR gets back at us. You laughed at Kelly's antics. Haha, <laughs> yeah, thanks, Kelly. Kelly? 
I haven't seen you around before. Yeah, I'll leave a floor down. Wait a minute. Are you Sammy's neighbor? Yeah, what's it to you? You shouldn't be so loud, okay? <laughs> Kelly, it's okay, we figured it out, haha. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I guess I'm just defensive right now. Are you Sammy's friend or something? Yep, we're basically best friends. Oh god, <laughs> the music stopped. Huh, I see. Well, I'm going to hit the hay. Weekend's tomorrow and I want to sleep in. See you later, Sammy. I should probably go too, I'm tired. Sammy, wait. <laughs> he's jealous, I, he's just a psycho. <laughs> but probably. You like me, right? Your heart drops as those words leave Lee's lips. Yes, I do. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yes, I do. Sorry if that's weird. Cool, let's date then. Ugh. What, you didn't think I liked you or something? Well, I mean, I didn't really think you'd want to date me or anything. Oh, I'm crazy about you, Sammy. Yeah, I know you're crazy. <laughs> of course I would. So, do you accept my offer? Your heart pounded in your chest. Something didn't feel right. Oh, she knows. She, she has got that feeling. Yes, but let's take it slow, okay? That's fine by me. As long as you stop talking to Kelly. There you go. There you go. You were taken aback a bit. What? Why? Look, I'm sure she's nice and all, but I kind of get a bad vibe from her. Like, she's trying to get closer to you. Well, yeah, it's because she's my friend. Kelly's nice to me. She's not bad at all. I see. I still don't want you hanging around her. Um. I mean, I want to say no, but I want to see if I say okay, what happens. I think I'm going to save. You know, <laughs> just to be safe. <clears throat> it's really like laying the, possess the possessiveness in thick from the beginning. I know. Uh, <laughs> mm, I, I'm really curious to see what, what what's going to happen eager to stop this conversation you just said what you wanted to hear thanks pumpkin I feel so much better now that we're together Lee took your hand in his Sammy, I really do like you I've never felt this way before then why did you take my tooth? <laughs> me too hmm the weekend, the weekend blew by, uh, flew by before you knew it, and even though Lee and you were n now a couple, he seemed rather distant. Of course, he still talked to you if you guys passed by each other, but he always seemed so busy or in a hurry. You stopped feeling so uneasy in your sleep, though, which was a plus. Huh, did he lose maybe interest? Or maybe not. Sammy, wake up! Sammy, you're going to be late for work. You awake to the sound of Lee knocking on your door. That's weird. Usually Kelly wakes you up at this time. I don't know what happened to Kelly. <laughs> you quickly put on your work clothes and open the door. Morning. Sleep well? You yawned and stretched your back. Yeah, extremely well, actually. You looked around expecting to see Kelly somewhere. Maybe she's sick or something? Maybe she's dead? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I gotta get going. Thanks for waking me up. No problem. Have a good day. You sat down at your, at your desk, eager to see a note back from HR. Sammy, it must be sad that your little work friend is gone. <laughs> oh shit. What are you talking about, James? Have you not heard? Kelly emailed her resignation. <laughs> she's dead. She said she's moving somewhere. Okay. You froze up. Kelly was moving. Why didn't she tell me? I have some new, new documents I need you to fill out. Yeah, right. 
of course they do. Don't bother going to HR again, by the way. I think you'll find their email f favoring me instead of you. James smirked at you as he left you with more paperwork. <laughs> this is a nightmare. You continue to work through the night, still in your shocked state. Hey, Sammy, you're here late. I thought there was no more overtime. HR didn't appeal to me. There's no way I can get out of it now. Oh man, that sucks. This whole day sucked. Crap, I didn't even know Kelly was leaving. She didn't even tell me she would. Your head started to ache with boy. It just didn't seem right. Why would Kelly leave all of a sudden? Babe, you don't look so good. Do you need some water or something? Yeah, that would be great, actually. I just need to clear my head. Lee took your arm without a second thought and led you over to his room. Just sit here and relax. I'll go get you some water. Let's see if... All looks pretty normal. I'm scared. You looked around Lee's apartment. It was way bigger than yours by a long shot. And you had very simple interior. And had a very simple interior. The only thing that was sort of off was the smell. Oh god. Oh god. Ugh, why does it smell like warm meat in here? The longer you waited for Lee, the stronger the smell got. No, 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 I'm scared. Oh god. Did you leave a stick out in the sun or something? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. You got up to go find a bathroom to get away from the smell, but the further you went into Lee's apartment, the stronger it got. Until you reached one door where the, where the smell was the strongest. <gasps> no, 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 I don't want to go. 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 I'll just throw away whatever's rotting in there. I'm sure Lee won't mind. <gasps> okay, I'm scared. What is this? What is this? What is this? Wh what's this? When you opened the door, the smell got so strong it made you gag. You see something in the darkness of the room. So you turn on the light. No, 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 don't do that. <gasps> no! Kelly! What? Kelly? You couldn't believe your eyes. Kelly was lying dead on the floor, rotting in front of you. No. Your body hunched over and you, as you threw up next to the rotting corpse. Police. I needed to call the police. You tried to reach the phone in your pocket, but your legs started to run away instead. <sighs> God. You ran out of Lee's apartment as, was, as fast as you could. You could hear a voice call after you as you turn. As you ran. Ah, oh, my stomach. Nausea fills your senses. N no, call the police first. Oh my god. <laughs> yep, he's definitely a yandere. Why would he invite you in? He's so stupid. Right? Ah, <sighs> pumpkin, pumpkin, there you are. Shit, babe, look, looks like you could really use that water right about now. I don't want your water. You backed away from Lee. You, uh, your hand started to reach for your phone. Oh no. Oh. I take it by your face you saw Kelly. Sorry. I was kind of like waiting for you to find her. That way it'd be easier to tell you. Oh. <laughs> That's why. You wanted to call someone but your body was completely frozen. Oh you're shaking. I guess your response is freeze. good to know. Come back inside and let's talk about this. I think once you see my side of the story, you'll find that I'm in the right here for doing that to her. Wh what was that? Why? Hmm. Well, I guess you could say, I'm a jealous guy. And when I get jealous, I kind of get a little crazy. I mean, like, when we were going to work, when you were going to work all the time, how we could only hang out when you were stressed or something like that really made me upset. I started taking little things from you so it could quench my thirst for more of your time, but even that wasn't enough. <laughs> Sorry about your tooth, by the way. <laughs> I'm sure you could get an implant or something. You're sick. But then... <laughs> Got his face. I see this fucking nobody chatting you up. 
<laughs> this is self-aware. Yeah, that's that's true. Listen, I'm no stalker, so I have no idea who you hang out with. So I've only got myself to blame for how surprised I was. But she was totally into you, and you seemed to like her, so I, you know. This tangent didn't face you. His words were so much together, making him sound insane. But do you get it now? Why I did what I did to her? Please, say you do. Lee moved closer to you. You felt yourself regain control over your body. <gasps> no, 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 no. That was, no, I'm gonna die. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I'm gonna die. That was too fast. You tripped over your feet a bit as you tried to run away from Lee. God, we're dead. Sammy. You felt cold metal um, on the back of your neck. Lee caught up to you. <gasps> Electri electricity shot up your body and, uh, and your muscle tightened. They shocked you again. Sorry, did I shock you? <laughs> no, you didn't. <sighs> you fell to the ground as tears started to pour out of your eye while you cut off saliva. Gross. Come on, let's get you back to my place. You tried to scream for help, but the whole complex was silent. Okay, no more screaming. No one in this floor cares anyway. Oh god. Your eyelids feel heavy and you could no longer move your body. Night. Bad end! <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> of course this is a bad end! <laughs> I died. <laughs> that was fun. Let's see. <laughs> Guys. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure the whole floor is full of yandere's. I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> Try this again, I think. <laughs> that was like <laughs> uh, <laughs> we just died like that. Pretty freaking sad. <laughs> I can't believe it either. But I mean, he was really crazy, so. Poor Kelly, for real. Let's try to save her this time. Okay, this, do you want to go to. I, I think it's better if we go to sleep this time. <laughs> you breathe it in and out. Nothing good will come out if you. Uh, of you trying to start a fight with neighbors you don't even know. That's right. Just move. You need to move. Move away. Far, far away. You sigh and hang your head as you sluggishly walk to your room. Once again, faint voices fill your ears. With the clicking and clackling coming from the neighbor and voices coming from another. You know sleep would not be achievable tonight. A shiver was sent down your spine. What are you doing in there? The voices, which are usually rather inappropriate, seem strangely different. The desperation and soft running was silent, was silent but definitely noticeable. The curiosity was eating you up inside. 
you decide to listen and lead a little closer. I need one me too. I don't know. I don't know. Please. Your heart pounded in your chest as your mind started to wander. You couldn't tell if it was just some more gross noises or something different. It was faint, but you could definitely hear it. Someone was scratching at the ground next door. <gasps> okay. <laughs> there was a voice as clear as day, but a loud thumb cut it off. You started to realize there was no more sound in the complex. No more voices. Maybe you were overthinking this, but you felt like something happened to that other voice. Just go to sleep while it's silence. Go out to see if something's wrong. Um, I mean, let's go and see what's happening. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I mean, come on. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> um, You got up and shakily walked to your door. Nothing. Absolutely nothing was there. Nothing was messed up. Nothing was slightly moved. Everything felt normal. Gosh, I really am going insane. One last quick look and you walked back into your room. You got into your bed and cocooned yourself in blankets. You yawned the whole complex. You yawned. <laughs> the whole complex was silent. Turning over in your covers, you closed your eyes. <gasps> no again. <laughs> but even in your sleep, you could hear it. It was so faint, too faint to wake to wake you up. But it was there. Oh god. The sound of bones being broken and skin getting ripped apart. Uh. It was funny how your brain could envision what it would look like in your sleep. <gasps> Ew! You woke with a shudder. You looked at your clock. <laughs> 5.30 a.m. Of course, even my body won't let me get a full eight hours, even with, with silence. It was a good thing it was Saturday, or else you'd be too disheveled, dishe disheveled <laughs> looking for work. Your eyes felt so crusty, and your mind was really trying to remember what you were dreaming about. Whatever it was, it definitely wasn't good. Bang! What the? A loud slam of the door rang through your ears. Oh, I've had it. Listen to me, pretty boy. I'm not someone who lets people play with her heart easily. A lover squirrel? You can't just, just dump, me dump me like that. I, uh, sorry, but I couldn't have dumped you if we weren't together. <laughs> Asshole, how dare you? I'm sorry, May. It's Gia, you jerk! <laughs> you heard a string of curses and stones. Silence filled the air. Sniff, sob. <laughs> you hear muffled sobs coming out from your neighbors. From one of your neighbors. Even though this guy was one of the main causes of your sleepless agony, you couldn't help but feel pity for him as you hear the sudden sobs through the walls. Oh, he's crying. You sat it and got out of bed, stealing your pajamas. I mean, he's probably a murderer <laughs> himself and he's, he's crying because of that. Maybe it was because you were tired, maybe it was just because you were curious, but you felt like you should com comfort him. Or maybe after you can talk about all the noises making at night. The sobs got a little louder as you walked outside. You saw a rather tall man slunked on the ground with his head in his knee, Knees silently crying his out, eyes out. I mean, what did he expect to happen? He brings so many women over, at least one of them was bound to get mad. You slowly approached the man. Hey, buddy. You okay? The man flinched and immediately stood up to face you. Oh, <gasps> cute. I yeah, I'm fine. Oh, <laughs> poor guy. I mean, he's probably super crazy as well, but he looks cute. Your eyes widened a little. This was the lady killer? <laughs> it 
You don't know what you were expecting your neighbor to look like, but certainly not like that. He was almost intimidatingly tall, but had such a sweet looking face it cancelled it out. The air around him smelled like sweet flowers that rem reminisced of women's perfume. Yeah, lady killer. <laughs> That's what I thought too. His calm, soothing voice sent shivers down your spine. Even in his distraught state, he looked so... pretty. Whoa. <laughs> hey. Hey. The man waved his hand in front of your face. You've been silent for a while. Did you just spa uh, did you just space out or... You flashed at the sudden realization that you were just staring at this man you barely knew. Uh, yeah, sorry, spaced out. <laughs> You felt like digging a hole in the ground and burying yourself in it. God, this this is too embarrassing. I'll go complain about the noise to him some other time. I think I should get going. Hope your face feels better. W wait, please. I'm sorry, it's just... I've never seen you around before. Are you from this complex? You pointed to your room. Don't tell him where you leave. Well, I did come across. I, I did come out out of this room just now. <laughs> right, right. Sorry. The man seemed uneasy as he played with the hem of his shirt, his eyes killing you. That must mean you're the new tenant that moved in a couple months ago. It's nice to meet you finally. My name's Tao. Tao held out, held out his hand in an extremely awkward display of introduction. You took his hand, shaking it. Um, nice to meet you too. I'm Sammy. Tao nodded. His grip on your hand got a little tired. His eyes suddenly locked uh, onto your hands for an uncomfortable amount of time before he looked back up, releasing you from his strong grip. R wow. Your hands, they're so soft. Any butterflies you were feeling about this guy suddenly disappeared with the creepy words that came out of his mouth. A shiver was sent down your spine. Maybe you were being too judgy or maybe it was because he seemed so jumpy, but something felt off about this guy. I'm so sorry about the noise this morning. I was in a bit of a mis misunderstanding with one of my mm, friends. Pushing away the feeling of uneasiness. Uneasiness. It's alright. I'm used to all the noise by the now anyway. Tao's eyes looked at you one more time. He smiled and walked a little closer to you. Hey, it was really nice to check if I was okay. <laughs> it was really nice of you to check if I was okay. The air turned cold and sinister around you and Tao. <gasps> oh my god, that scared me. Maybe I should... Huh. Your phone rang. James was calling you. Did James just save us? <laughs> God. Uh, sorry, I gotta take this. You breathed out a sigh of relief. At least James was good for something. There you go. Oh, of course. You waved goodbye to Tao and stepped back into your room. You picked up your phone. About time you picked up. Do you keep everyone calls you waiting... Everyone who calls you waiting this long? The relief you felt from James calling you quickly turned to bitterness. What do you want, James? Also, why are you calling me? Isn't it more professional to email your co-workers? Hey, don't forget who you're talking to. But if you must know, our company can, sell, can see <laughs> all of our work emails. So they can see your abuse of power. I get it. What was that? Nothing. That's what I thought. Anyway, I have some work I need you to complete. You don't say. Do you know the conference with corpor corporate that that's coming up soon? Of course. Everyone's been working their asses off preparing for that thing. Tell me about it. I've been drowning in all this work just to appease those stuck-up assholes. You've been drowning in all the work that you made me do? That's why I'm calling you. 
look, I know I'm hard on you, but you're the only person who really knows how to work hard. Ugh. I want you to help me make the slideshow. All of the other guys pushed this onto me, and there's no way I can do this on my own. Well, that sounds awful, James. But why do you think I'd ever help you when you've been pushing all your work, other work on me? Because if you help me, I'll talk to the corporate and get you promoted. Yeah, right. Promoted? You wouldn't believe your ears. Getting promoted seemed like a distant dream. God, if I get promoted, I could finally make enough money to move out of this noisy complex or maybe get a TV. I mean, <laughs> the first option sounds nice. Mm, this seems way too good to be true. Trust me, if you help me out, I'll talk to the corporate. I know a guy who'll get you that promotion. A part of you didn't believe, James. But considering all the amount of work you already had, it's not like it would bother you if you had a bit of a bit more. This is hard. Do we trust him? Let's do it. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Even if there was a slim chance of that promotion, what other chance would you get? Perfect. Perfect. We should start working right away. I'll send you the slides. Wait, am I working on this today? Duh. I'm hoping to get this done as soon as possible. I'll check over the work after the weekend. Good luck. James and Club. Hang up. As a, no as a no notification of the shared document got sent, you felt a sense of dread. A little extra work won't kill me. Come on, Sammy, you can do this. <sighs> the entire weekend was filled to the brim with work. The noise from the neighbors kept you up enough for you to finish at least a bit of it. Your head throbbed and your body was sore. You were shivering at the thought of the weekend being over and the workload only doubling in the office. Sammy? Sammy? You tear your eyes away from your computer and quickly get your work clothes on. Morning, Sammy. Oh my god, what happened to you? Nothing, just catching up on our little extra work is all. Just a little? The backs under your eyes look like they're about to reach the floor. Are you sure you shouldn't just take the day off today? You don't really look fit to work. No, I'm fine. If I take a sick day, then there will be more work that will pile up. What type of extra work is making you so burnt out? You told Kelly about this slideshow and how James needed your help with it. Seriously? Oh, I can't believe that Hassel is using his power to get you to do his presentation. It's okay, after I'm done, I'll have a slim chance of getting promoted. I couldn't pass up that kind of offer. Still, this much work for just a slim chance of a promotion. There's no need to worry, Kelly, I can manage stress well. A few extra papers is nothing for me to gripe about. You gave Kelly a reassuring smile. Okay, if you say so. Shoot, it's already 8 o'clock. Let's hurry to work. You and Kelly ran to your office. You breathed out a sigh of relief, right on time. Kelly sat at her desk, shooting you a smile before she opened up her computer. You stretch your back, back to work. Tapping away on your computer, your head started to, started to ache. You couldn't tell if it was from the caffeine you've been actively pumping into your bloodstream, or the lack of sleep and proper food. Your chest started to hurt and your breath felt cold. Maybe I just need more coffee. coffee. Yeah, right. That's the answer. Your head hit the desk and everything went black. There was a complete silence for a few seconds. Your body relished in the forced break it gave you. Sammy. Sleeping on the job? God, it's like you have no respect for this company at all. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Gosh, I hate this guy. Hello, Caffeine! Welcome, welcome! How are you doing? It's so nice to see you here. Oh, well, before anything, if you're uncomfortable with these um, trigger warnings, <laughs> please, please, this is not the stream for you because we are playing a horror otome game today. And while I think it's not that heavy, I feel like I've played worse. Um, 
it's still pretty bad. <laughs> Girl, I love Yandere's. <laughs> Same. <laughs> then you're in the right place. <laughs> James still sucks. Yeah. Basically, uh, we are living in this apartment complex, and we are we aren't able to sleep at all at night because our neighbors keep making lots and lots of noise. So uh, we cannot really sleep at night and work is a nightmare because this guy here, James, keeps, uh, keeps giving us like all, all of his work to do. So our, our life is a nightmare. Like a complete nightmare. But I hope you're doing good, Okapin, by the way. <laughs> and I hope you're having an amazing day or evening or night. Um... Supposedly, I think we are on Tao's route right now. <laughs> yeah. As he should. Why should he do any work? I know, right? We are here for him. <sighs> Shit, did I pass out? <laughs> yeah. You wrapped your head inside it. Sorry, I just plucked out a little is all. He is? He's mad? <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, really? Do you need medical attention? Or can you just suck it up and act like an adult? Seriously, making a scene like that. You wanted to scream! Your head hurt and passed out. <laughs> you passed out and yet you were labeled unprofessional for fainting. Sorry. It's a right. How's this last show going? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> seriously? It's going well. I have 10 more slides to do, then I'll send it back to you for feedback. Excellent. I expect it to be done today. You only have 10 slides left anyway. Doing all of that in one day seems like a bad idea considering the stage you were in. But you didn't have the guts to turn him down. Alright, I'll get it to you by the end of the day. Perfect. I hope all your slides are up to standard. You opened up your computer and started to chip away at the piles of work given to you. Your body and brain ached, ached <laughs> as, your, as your work quickly turned into overtime. Finally, at 11.30, you were done. You closed up your computer. You wanted so badly to curl up into a corner and cry. Hey, Sammy. Ah, Kelly. You scared me. Why are you still here? It's so late. Come on, just because you have some extra work doesn't mean you can get out of walking home with me. You must have waited long. I don't mind at all. It would be so dangerous for you to go out alone at night like this. Kelly helped you pack your stuff and patted you on the shoulder. You must be, you must be so exhausted. <laughs> Kelly, she's still alive for now. Oh my god, I still have that image in my head. <laughs> Poor Kelly. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to sleep though. My mind is freezing and my neighbors won't shut up. Hmm. Kelly hesitated a bit before she finally spoke. There is a, pla a place that relieves a lot of stress for me. What do you mean? Well, whenever I feel too stressed, um, I feel too stressed out of out to work. <laughs> Stre stressed out to work. <laughs> I go to this underground club. Oh god. I cannot just drink my cares away there. It's really hell it's really fun. You were a little shocked. Kelly clubbing? She didn't really look like the type who would be into that. If you want to go there together, maybe I'll relieve some stress for you. Clubbing didn't seem like something you could do. People who usually go to clubs were young or just sad bachelors. But drinking your cares away with a friend did seem nice. Okay, that sounds fun. We can't drink too much though. I don't need a hangover on top of this migraine. Yes, let's go. You and Kelly walked a few blocks down until you reached a dark alleyway. Your blood turned cold as Kelly suddenly stopped in her tracks and shuffled over to the right wall. You can't tell anyone about this place, okay? The people there don't 
want the word getting out. Oh god, why do we always get into something fishy? <clears throat> you nodded. You definitely knew this was a bad idea, but for some reason you just kept following Kelly. Kelly knocked three times on the wall. A section of the wall slipped apart, split apart, revealing a door that led to a deep staircase. staircase. This is going to be so fun. <laughs> oh my god. You gave a half smile to Kelly as she locked arms with you and took you down the stairs. The faint sound of music hit your ears as you continued down the stairs. You took a deep breath as Kelly opened the door to the club. Here we are! Immediately your eyes were assaulted with colors and soft music. Okay, does it look bad? People were standing around drinking and laughing with each other. It felt way more comfortable than a regular club. Oh, this is way more calmer than I expected. Yeah, that's why I like it. But even though it's calm, we've got to look out for each other. There's more creeps than you think here. Of course. You and Kelly sat down at the bar. Kelly ordered some drinks for you two, and you ordered some snacks. You both chatted. You felt yourself relax a little as the stress from work fades away. Kelly. Ha. Some girl f uh, waved to Kelly from the other side of the room. Shit. Hey, Sammy, I need to go over there for a bit. You okay for a few minutes, right? You looked around the room. There weren't really any sketchy people. Uh, here. Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, just call me if you need me. Kelly ran over to the girl. I'm really scared for her. Hey. Huh, they must be friends. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Sounds really fishy. You continue to eat snacks while looking around the club. Hey, I haven't seen you around before. Someone sat next to you. Is this seat taken? You looked up at the interloper. <gasps> Tao! Gosh. Of course he would be here. Wow, your eyes there are even prettier than I imagined. Oh my god, it's you! <laughs> you almost choked on your snacks. What's he doing here? You shivered remembering how awkward... Oh, yeah, blah, blah. <laughs> your awkward first encounter with the purple-haired man. Oh, hey Tao. Your eyes shifted. You didn't really feel comfortable around him. <laughs> Tao fiddled with his hands looking nervously at you. Wow, um, how did you find this club? It's not really the most public of clubs. <laughs> I just came here with friend, with my friend to relieve some stress. Oh, so where's your friend? You looked around the club. What? Where the hell is Kelly? <gasps> I've lost her. Point to a random direction. Yeah, I'm not telling you that I'm here, like, on my own. <laughs> Just because you lost Kelly doesn't mean this guy needs to know exactly. <laughs> you pointed to the far end of the room where there was a crowd of people. Over there? Oh, so she's not near you right now? Fuck. <laughs> no, she is. She is. I fucked up. <laughs> okay, okay, let's stay. Let's stay calm. Um. <laughs> Do you, <laughs> right? It's so creepy. Uh, but his eyes, he looks so crazy anyways. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Not really. Do you mind if I stay with you for a bit then? You side eye him a bit. Just letting him sit next to you, to me, doesn't seem too bad. You nodded as Tao scooter closer to you. Can I buy you a drink? Depends you're not going to put something in it, are you? What? Of course not. Do I do I look like the type of person to do that? Yes. <laughs> Tal looked at you. His innocent eyes started to in stared into your soul. No, you don't. Uh, sorry for being mean. It's just been a long day. You signed the bartender. You singled the bartender to bring you another, another drink. <laughs> you took a long sip to the beer bitter tonic that the bartender mixed up for you. It's okay. 
To be fair, I was acting super creepy on our first encounter. I usually get a bit awkward when I see someone who's as beautiful as you. <laughs> okay. You caught uh, you coughed on your drink a bit. Your looks have been described many times throughout your life. Beautiful was an adjective that was rarely used for you. At least by strange handsome men at, at clubs. Uh, sorry, did I just make make it weird again? That was probably a bit forward for me to say. You shook your head as your face started to heat up. You took another sip of your drink. No, 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 you're fine. Um, can I have another drink? You waved over the bartender once again. Your head started to feel fuzzy. You couldn't tell if it was uh, from the alcohol or the embarrassing situation you were in. Maybe I should change the subject. <laughs> Maybe I should change the subject. Um... I thought you were handsome back then. No, <laughs> I don't feel comf I don't feel comfortable with these guys anymore. <laughs> to tell them, this. to tell them this. Do you come here often? What do you do for work? I mean, what do you do for work? Oh, it's complicated. I guess you could say that I'm an entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneur of sorts. It sounds like he's unemployed. <laughs> I have my main job where I uh, gather information from people, but my side job is more of a hobby. Really? And what would that be? Tell smiled a bit at you. I resell parts. <laughs> of course he does. Of course he does. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> oh my god. Parts? Like, of cars? Exactly. <laughs> sure. How about you? What do you do for work? Yeah, I think I think that's exactly what he, what he does. <laughs> oh, I'm just in marketing. It's soul crushing, stressful, and slowly killing me. But it gets the bills paid, you know? That sounds awful. It's not that bad. Having this much stress just makes me appreciative of, of the little things in life outside of work more. Yeah, he's he's scarier than Lee, right? He's just... <laughs> he looks crazy! <laughs> like drinking water or sleeping for two hours. <laughs> oh my god. No offense, but that's so sad. Tao went silent for a bit. You know, this isn't the best place to go clubbing. Tell him closer to your ear. You shivered as his face got closer to yours. The people here look all calm and nice, but trust me, nobody here is innocent. Wait, what do you mean by that? Tao, there you are. An extremely pretty woman trotted up to Tao, her ears clucking. clucking. You left me all alone back there. I was so lonely. Mm, hey, Xiaohua. The woman looked up at you and down scoffing up and down <laughs> scoffing under her breath. Who's that? Oh, this is my neighbor Sammy. Her friend isn't here right now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm keeping her company. Oh Tao, always so kind. But you know, a lot of people are waiting for you. Oh well, could you tell me I'll be there in a bit? I kind of don't want to leave Sammy alone. Oh, come on, she won't die if you leave her here for a few seconds. H hey, Xiaohua. Xiaohua pushed Tao away in the crowd, into the crowd. Don't be stubborn. Tao disappeared into the crowd of people, leaving you with Xiaohua. Wait, what? Um, so you're Tao's neighbor? You nodded. You got a sinister feeling from her. Mm, I guess I have nothing to worry about. Excuse me? Listen, I know you must be reeling with all the attention Tao has been giving you. But just a word of advice, he does that to everyone. You stared at her, at her a bit confused. Um, I think you have the wrong idea. I I'm not interested in Tao. Huh, I know you're not. But you did when we'd have a re <laughs> If you did, um, then we'd have a real problem. Just stay away from Tao. You don't know what you're getting into. 
um, is it worth it to flip her off? <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, sure. I mean, I don't have any interest in getting closer to him. I guess he's dead tonight. <laughs> I guess. Xiao <laughs> Hua. Jeez, okay, no need to be so hostile. Whatever I was, whatever, I was just warning you. You might want to leave soon, by the way. Pigs just stay in here, in the. <laughs> Pigs just stay in their uh, pen, you know? Wow. Wow. Wouldn't want people to worry. I should have flipped her off. <laughs> you gripped your drink tighter in, her, in your hands. Sorry, did I hit a nerve? Hey, Xiaohua. Come over here. Well, that's my cue. She smirked at you and strutted back to the crowd. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna be sorry about <laughs> about her going, honestly. The hell was that? Kids these days. You sighed it. Your headache was coming back. You motioned over to the bartender. Can I get another drink? Yes, stop drinking. <laughs> stop drinking. Uh, you looked in the crowd trying to f in the crowd trying to find Kelly. Yeah, what, where is she? I'm sure she's fine. The night, feeling more and more stressful by the second, was feeling was filled to the brim with the drinks you ordered. You would think the bartender would have cut you off by now, but he seemed to have no qualms with letting you drink your heart out. You don't know what time it was. Your head was cloudy. A hand fell to your shoulder. Oh shoot. This is not good. This is not good. Oh hey, Tao. Your words got jumbled together as you tried to form coherent words. Sammy, how many drinks do you have? You shrugged your shoulders. 10 or maybe 25? 25? No wait, definitely around 10. Tao looked around the club nervously and then stared straight at the bartender. Oh, hello, Lily. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, shoot. It doesn't work. Wait, wait. No, I guess, I guess it works just for me. <laughs> I need to change that. But hello, Lily. Welcome, welcome. Don't worry a bit. You're not, you're not, um, late at all <laughs> you're never late I hope you're doing well Lily <laughs> not worthy <laughs> no you are you are you definitely are gosh Lily we are playing this um, horror game and let me send the trigger warnings again because if you're uncomfortable with any of these then this is not the stream for you because <laughs> uh, we are playing a horror otome game and right now this i assume this yandere here <laughs> is really pissed off for some reason i'm i've been good <laughs> i've been okay <laughs> thank you for asking i hope you've been well too But I know you just you just came out from a yandere root yourself. <laughs> and that was the last of my tea. Um, this game is called Pretty Boy Panic. Let me send you the link if you wanna check it out for yourself. So right now we are out drinking at a club and we got we got pretty drunk. We had a lot to drink, so I'm a little bit afraid of what this is going to do. Tao angrily pointed to the drinks and the bartender shook his head. Tao let out a sigh of relief. Semi, where is your friend? I think it's time for you to leave. Not sure she's left me. Well, that's not good. Can you tell me what uh, what your friend looks like? Like short and stuff. <laughs> wow, very descriptive. Do you have her phone number or 
You slowly pulled out your phone and tried to call Kelly's number. Tao grabbed your phone. Oh god. What are you doing? Just texting your friend, don't worry. <laughs> I'm worrying. I'm worrying so much. <laughs> yes, MC is so is she's gone. Tao texting Kelly to come meet you guys at the bar. Drink some water and try to clear your head a bit. Why does he worry so much though? I wonder. <laughs> Cheers, Nito. <laughs> Time for booze, really? Nice. Tao passed you a glass of water when when did he even get a glass? Um I don't know if you want your water. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I mean I don't know. <laughs> Come by. Um. Yeah. What's the worst that could happen, right? <laughs> I mean, we were already drunk anyway. So, yeah, he drank this. That could happen exactly. <laughs> you took the water. Um. <laughs> taking small sips of it. Thanks. No problem. It's important to drink water after you drink. It prevents bad hangovers. <gasps> Kelly, she's alive. Oh, thank goodness. Oh god, I'm so sorry about leaving you. My friend was calling me over and I owed her a favor. Seeing Kelly's face gave a rise of emotions. Yes, you were angry of her at her for leaving you at a club that you never been to, that you've never been to. But another part of you was just sad that she left. Kelly looked over at Tao. Um, who's this? Oh, this is Tao. He's my neighbor. You felt dizzy and faint. I'm tired. That's okay. I'll take you home. You can just rest. What? No way. I'll take her. I'll take her home. Take her home. <laughs> Go on. Do you really think I'm just going to let you take my intoxicated friend home? Not a chance, buddy. She lives right next to me, though. You can come with us if you don't trust me. Also, I don't think you should be taking considering... Uh, talking, considering how you've left Sammy here all by yourself the whole night. Kelly clenched her fists. Alright, let's just have Sammy decide. Sammy, would you like me to accompany, accompany you home? Um, I mean, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I'd feel safer with Kelly. That's fair. <laughs> He's mad. No, no. <laughs> um. Okay, you can just rest, Sammy. We'll take you home. You nodded. You nodded. Uh, yeah. No, would definitely be a bad end. <laughs> yeah. You nodded, you nodded as your head fell to the table. Oh my god. <laughs> your body relaxed as much as, as the much needed rest overtook your body. You haven't felt so calm in a long time. In your deep sleep, you could hear footsteps and the silent sound of cars driving by. You stirred as you cleaned tighter into whatever you were resting on. Wait. What am I lay laying on? You opened your eyes, the colorful CD lights seep in through your half-awake eyes. Oh, he's scaring us! Your body was swaying as you realized you were off the ground. Tao was carrying you on his back. Your face flushed as you gripped tighter on him. Onto him. Ah, uh, careful, you'll make me lose my balance. What are you doing? Um, carrying you back? Sorry if that's weird. I was going to just help you walk, but then you kept flopping over and I didn't want you hit to hit your head on the floor. So, um, I thought this was the next best option. Where's Kelly? <laughs> you looked around. Where's Kelly? Right here. Okay. <laughs> you looked over at Kelly who was right behind Tao, crossing her arms. I'm here to make sure this guy doesn't do anything. I am not going to do anything. Thanks, Kelly. 
Uh, Tao, I'm pretty sure I can walk on my own. I don't think that's a good idea. You're pretty drunk. Yeah, you fell like four times. We're almost there, you can just rest. Hey, now, if Sammy doesn't want your help, then she doesn't need it. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> what was that, pretty boy? Nothing. I can put down I can put you down if you'd like, Sammy, but I'd rather carry you if you're still slop loopy. Your head did feel very fuzzy, and your body did need to sleep. Okay, thanks, Tao. No problem, just relax, we'll get you home safe. Your eyes closed again as you let Tao carry you home. I'm scared. <laughs> you could hear voices in your sleep. There you go. <laughs> they were so faint you could barely make them out. Okay, where's our keys? I'm not sure. Ugh, I need to go soon. Hurry up and search your pockets. I don't feel comfortable sh uh, searching around the clothes of a woman I don't know very well. Funny, you usually don't have that problem. Can you just leave already? The bickering continued on. Your mind couldn't register what they were saying, so the conversation faded away in your brain. I'm scared. You could hear faint sounds of the morning rush. Ugh. I guess they do know each other. They go to the same club, so... Hmm. It's suspicious. Your head pounded. You were grateful that there was no bright sun to worsen your screaming hangover. Wait, my windows don't have good blinds. The sun should be in my eyes right now. You open your eyes to see you weren't in your normal bed. Oh god, where am I? You sat up and ran over to the door. You ran to a room that was much bigger and cleaner than your complex. Uh oh. Oh, you're up. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Tao suddenly appeared in front of you. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. You looked at him, then around the room. Uh, did I spend the whole night here? Oh yeah, about that. I couldn't find your keys to your room last night, and I didn't want to wake you up, so I just let you crash here. I slept on the couch, don't worry. While it was a little creepy, you slept in your, in your neighbor's bed, but it was sorta of nice that he didn't just leave you on the floor on the complex. Thanks, that's actually really sweet. <laughs> Excuse not sus at all. <laughs> you know. It's no problem. I made some breakfast if you'd like some, and I have some painkillers. You quickly took the painkillers from Tao and swallowed them dry. Thanks, my head is literally killing me. As your head pounded, you were reminded of James and the workload you were supposed to be doing right now. Oh crap, what time is it? Almost 10.30. What's wrong? Your heart sank as you just realized the gravity of your mistake. Oh god, I am so late for work. You slammed down the couch, holding your face in your hands. Who's that work? Who those reports? James. Shit. James is totally going to kill me. You wanted to tear you wanted to tear your hair out. The slideshow, my promotion. Are you okay? No, I'm late for work. Can't you just call in sick? I mean you aren't really in the greatest condition to work. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> Even if I do call in my sick in sick, my coworker will literally literally make my life a living hell when I come back. Why would they do that? I wish I knew. Ever since he got promoted, he's been hell-bent on making me absolutely miserable. Miserable. That's awful. Is there anyone you could talk to about it? You shake your head. Tao sighed it and sat down with you. I get it. I know how it feels to have no one to turn to in a stressful time. If you ever need someone to talk about it, I'll be just next door. Of course. As workaholics need to stick together. <laughs> right. Tao smiled at you. And the butterflies you felt when you first met him rose up again. Thanks. Dum -dum -dum -dum. <laughs> you and Tao ate breakfast together. And you called in sick giving you your first, your first day off in a while. 
You felt comfortable with Tao and you guys started to hang out more often after you were done with work. <laughs> He's so sweet, definitely not scary at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, of course, eventually told him about the noise that he and your other neighbors were making. He eventually got them to stop making noise so late. Mm -hmm. And Tao stopped bringing his friends all together, leaving the complex dead silent at night. This is, this is not a good sign, honestly. <laughs> it was a good thing he was friends with the other two, or else they never would have shut up. Your bond with Tao only grew the more time you spent together. Your hangouts soon turned into dinner dates, and every free moment you had felt like Tao time was somehow crammed in. You, did, you didn't mind that much, though. Having Tao around also made you feel safe as well as calm, <laughs> okay? Especially since... <gasps> James died! <sighs> yeah, right, of course it would. A news report came out a few days ago. James' body, or his parts, were found in five different dumpyards. You didn't know how to feel about the whole situation. You didn't have to do any more extra work. And you quickly found out the slideshow was just another excuse for James to push your, his work onto you. Well, that's... Really? <laughs> you didn't want to say you were glad that he died so horrifically at that. But it did make your life a whole lot easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tao. <laughs> That's kind of sloppy to be honest. I wouldn't expect a professional to get caught like that. I <laughs> know, right? <laughs> um, though the tough of having uh, a crazed murderer who dismembers people <laughs> running around where you leave, lived since she was done your spine. Girl, you're dating him. And since you stopped being friends with Kelly <gasps> after she left you at the club, you've been walking home at night with Tao. Wow. This is not good. The police will find the killer soon. I shouldn't worry about it too much. <laughs> and we, why do we always stop being friends with Kelly? Dang it! <laughs> That's never a good thing. Oh, you and Tao were once again hanging out together. He's sleeping. You wanted to try to introduce a cool new show about gods played by handsome men, but Tao quickly fell asleep as soon as the, as soon as the second episode started. <laughs> okay <laughs> Tao, you're missing the best part You not Tao a little Ah, he's cute <laughs> Sorry It's kind of hard not to fall asleep to this What are you talking about? This is a thrilling story of romance and drama I think you just like the handsome man in it Well, having pretty actors does help But it's not just about that It's about the passion and visuals in the show Hmm, okay. <laughs> Tao went silent for a bit before he cuddled up closer to you. Sammy, I really like spending time with you. Even if your shows <laughs> even if your shows suck. It doesn't suck, you just haven't given it a chance. I would give it a, cha a chance if napping wasn't way more fun. Tao Tao's arms wrapped around you. It's a good white noise at least. Your heartbeat quickened. You felt as though you and Tao's relationship was special, even if you guys didn't label anything. I like spending time with you too, you know? You wanted time to stop here. You and Tao just laying here together. Hmm. Tao's head fell to your neck as, as once again he fell asleep. Oh, Tao's head. Okay. <laughs> You said it, his body was so warm. Your high lids fluttered closed as you suddenly didn't care about the show anymore. I'm scared. You stretched your back as you yawned. Ever since you stopped talking to Kelly, you had to remind yourself when to wake up. <laughs> she was your personal um, clock. <laughs> the freak. Well, there wasn't much stress at work because James was gone. There was still tons of work for you, nonetheless. Time to get going. You said it as you walked to work. You walked to work. So we're not talking to Kelly at all? 
asked Roderick. You sat down at your desk, opening your computer. Your eyes quickly looked around the room, searching to see if Kelly was anywhere nearby. That weird, she's usually here by now. Maybe she's late. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Not again. As you continued your work, something felt off, felt off in the office. Your co-workers were talking more than normal to each other, and everyone seemed on edge. One of your co-workers walked over to your desk, nearing the end of the day. Hey, we got an email from corporate saying that work ends early today. Really? What's the occasion? Uh, you didn't hear? Oh my god, no! <laughs> Kelly died yesterday. Your hearts drop, dropped. What? I know, I was so shocked to hear it too. First James, now Kelly. Looks like the killer really has it out for us. The police are going to run a full investigation on the office, but between you and me, I don't really think they're going to do much, especially after the way they brushed off James' case. Your pulse quickened as you packed up your things. Kelly was dead. Your mind was racing, you didn't know what you were feeling. Fear? Grief? You didn't know, but you did know that she wanted all those thoughts to stop. Tao, I need to go see Tao. No, you really don't. You walk through the rain to your complex. The cold droplets chilled your skin. All you wanted to do was go see Tao and talk about everything with him. No, you really don't want to do that. <sighs> yeah, better to do that, huh? I'm scared. Oh no, she'll be going over earlier than usual. What if he's working? Oh god, okay. I need to be prepared to tackle him or whatever. You stepped into the complex. You could see Tao's purple hair in the distance. Tao! Your breath hitched as you took a step back away from him. <gasps> Bitch! Tao was holding Xiao Hua close to him! I cannot get a good ending in this game! <laughs> Thanks for agreeing to meet me. I heard around that you got a girlfriend. I was scared, you know. <laughs> this is worse than catch this is worse than catching him working to be honest. Right. <laughs> oh my god. Does this mean you like me? Tao smiled at her. How could I not? You're so beautiful. I mean you weren't dating, were they? No, not really, but come on. His eyes looked blank as Xiao Hua brought her face closer to kiss him. Tao laughed as he, pu as he, pu as he pushed uh, Xiao Hua off of him. Maybe it was your eyes um, playing tricks on you, but his face almost looked disgusted as he did. Warn a guy when you do that. Hey, let's stick this inside. I don't think I can't wait anymore. Yeah, I think it's working after all. <laughs> <gasps> oh, call out to him or stay silent oh my god I mean let's stay silent right let's just you know as Tao walked over to his room his eyes caught you shit come on <laughs> Sammy oh. you weren't supposed to see that oh damn it damn it why me? Why me? Let's go, Tao. Xiao Hua smirked at you as she gripped Tao's to push him inside. You felt sick to your stomach. Not wanting to be in the complex anymore, you walked outside in the rain. The rain felt fitting at a time like this. <laughs> First the bad, bad news this morning, now this. It's not like we're actually dating. I shouldn't be upset about this. You sighed as your head fell to your knees. You didn't know how long you were outside. You couldn't feel any water droplets on you anymore. Hey. You looked up to see Tao. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you catch a, co a cold out there. 
out, he out here. Okay. You put your head back into your knees. I don't want to talk to you right now. Come on, Sammy. Don't be like that. Let's talk about this. What is there to even talk about? It's not like we're, we're in a relationship. I want us to be, though. Well, you have a shifty way, <laughs> shitty way of showing it. Tao cl cleared his throat. I let her go. Xiao Hua, I mean. As soon as I saw you, I knew it wasn't right. Then why did you do it in the first place? Why would you even bring her here if you liked me? Do you just do this to everyone? Play with their hearts and then break them? I didn't mean to play with your heart. I'm just so scared. I feel like if I get into a relationship with, y with you, someone will eventually take you away from me. I'm afraid I'll like you so much that I'll be broken if you leave. Tao cut himself off before he could finish his last sentence. I didn't I didn't catch that though. I'm I'm afraid that way will <gasps> Who's way? Please Sammy. <gasps> no, he's crying. <laughs> no more shitty shows for you, Tao. <laughs> oh my god. I just want to be with you. Tao suddenly cried as the rain water and his tears mixed together. How could you abandon him like this? Setting you stood up you stood up and took his hand. Tao, I I like you too. I wanna make this work with you. You intertwined your fingers with hi with his. <laughs> he's he's super happy now. <laughs> Tao nodded as you both went back inside the complex together. I'm just saying, visiting Taiwan, it could be fun, you know. You and Tao were walking together once again. After the events that took place, you both decided it would be best to move away from Tao Hua, considering all the disappearances and the horrible memories. Okay, you and Tao have been moving from place to place together. Oh! This is cute, so cute. I love this CG, honestly. <laughs> yes, it will be fun. However, you can go you can just go buy tickets without consulting me first. Gosh, traveling so much. Sometimes it just makes me feel like we're fugitives on the run. <laughs> you really are, I guess. Um, are you really that mad? Uh no. I can't be mad at you when you're looking at me like that. Besides, it's not like I need to work or anything. I've got my handsome boyfriend to pay for me. You nudged Tao as you teased him. Hmm. I'm just a handsome wallet for you, aren't I? Maybe. <laughs> You're not getting any of my drink now. <laughs> I'm kidding, babe. You kissed him on the cheek. Taiwan sounds lovely. I can't wait to go with you. Tao started a bit. N me too. I'd go anywhere with you, Sammy. Good ending. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but <laughs> okay. I I actually got a bad a good ending. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> I wanted it to be bloodier like the last <laughs> route that we tried but I guess getting a good ending once in a while it's good <laughs> hello Lorelei welcome welcome <laughs> congrats on the good ending thank you I tried my best <laughs> oh, wow I really enjoyed it Thank you, Nia. Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you.
<laughs> How are you, Lorelai? I hope your your day and well your week has been good. I know this game is great. <laughs> Honestly, I want to play all the the bad endings. I think the bad endings are way more entertaining than the good ones. Only Tao and Lee's route are available, so for now. And it's uh, let's see, there is a bad ending, there is a good ending, and there is a bad relationship ending. Ba -ba -ba. So we got a bad ending for um, Lee and a good ending for Tao. That's not bad. Because <laughs> I'm drunk already, can't even type properly. <laughs> well, cheers, Nito. I just woke up. This game looks cute. <laughs> so did anyone catch you yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> it, 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 um, it is cute. But I did die uh, once. They didn't cage me, but they killed me. And they took my... They took one of my... Teeth. <laughs> so weird, because they wanted to have a part of me with with them for always. Pretty creepy. <laughs> yes, in the other route, they did that. <laughs> they took a tooth from me. <sighs> the hardship of life. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, I'm telling you, the, the bad endings are way better than the good ones in this game. I wonder if there are more um, horror Otome games out there. I wanna play them. <laughs> Come by! Okay, I think this is gonna be it for me. Oh, I found out that, um, you know the game that I was playing, um, Salvus Ares. Um, there are variations to the ending that we did, so I think I'm gonna play them eventually. Well, tomorrow I'm gonna play um, Monster Prom with friends. So, not tomorrow, maybe, maybe Sunday. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Lily. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, 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 uh. Mire, Mire is on. Let's raid Mire. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna play Monster Prom with Lily, Mire, and uh, Hannah. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, welcome, Mommy G. Now I'm the one who's leaving. <laughs> But I'll be back tomorrow um, night. <laughs> Same time. Well, at 9 p.m. Um, chest. Everyone loves uh, Monster Prom. That's awesome. Oh, thank you, Bingzu, for creating this game. <laughs> we all loved it. It was amazing. <laughs> we loved the, the creepy the creepy parts so 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 much okay i think i'm gonna raid mirarin so thank you everyone for um staying with me tonight <laughs> it was really fun most of all the the first route in which we died <laughs> and oh mommy in the second route uh we did tao's good ending it's pretty good So, yep. What ending did you get? <laughs> so I got, uh, well, Lee's bad ending uh, and um, Tao's good ending. It was pretty good. Pretty fun. See you tomorrow. Thank you for staying and chatting with me and surviving, kinda. 
to this game. Uh, Mire is playing. Is act she's actually playing. Um, uh, what's the name? Salvus Aries. I'm interest really interested. <laughs> so let's go. Thank you guys. Bye bye. See you soon.